What is going on Raptors Nation? It is Luca here back with another video. By the way, if you're finding this channel, yes, this is my Raptors channel. I'm going to be posting all of the day-to-day -day or consistent Raptors content on this channel moving forward just to kind of keep things separate from the other NBA stuff I do on my main channel. So definitely hit that like and subscribe. So when did Jakob Pertl turn into Lakers Shaq? I've seen enough. I'm taking Jakob Pertl over Joel Embiid. But seriously, Jakob Pertl is on an unbelievable tear right now. I mean, who saw this from Pertl? This is crazy to see. Over his last three games, Pirtle has put up 30 points, 16 rebounds on 13 of 18 shooting from the field in a win against the Pacers. By the way, the Raptors snapped their seven-game losing skid. He put up 35 points, 12 rebounds on 16 of 19 shooting from the field in an overtime loss against the Celtics. He really looked like prime Shaq in that one. And then he put up 25 points, 18 rebounds on 12 of 20 shooting from the field in that game on Friday against the Pistons. Pirtle has been stuffing the stat sheet, and this is what he said about stuffing the stat sheet, sort of a throwback to college, I guess. Pirtle has scored 90 points in his last three games. It's the highest three-game output of his career, and the first time he scored 20-plus in three straight games. Pirtle is averaging 30 points, 15.3 rebounds on 71.9% shooting in his last three games. And he is the first player in Raptors history to average 30 plus points, 15 plus rebounds in a three game span. And he joins Chris Bosch as the only Raptors centers in franchise history to record consecutive 30 point games. Yaka Perto, ladies and gentlemen, he has been such a big boost for this Raptors team as they're dealing with all of these injuries. A monster on the glass. He's been that passing hub. Just such a nice soft touch around the rim. He's been hitting those hooks. He's been an automatic bucket inside of the paint. And then he has been great with his solid rim defense. So Yaka Pirtle is contributing at a high level. And it's just been great to see. This is going to be a guy who the Raptors have to make a big decision on moving forward. Because I'll tell you guys right now. Yaka Pirtle's trade value is never going to get higher than this. It is sky high right now. Those contending teams, they are getting excited seeing Yaka Pirtle play as well as he has because there's a lot of contending teams who are going to be calling Masai Ujiri around the trade deadline. The Los Angeles Lakers, Thunder, Knicks, just to name a few, if Pirtle continues to play like this. And it looks like he's not slowing down. Okay, he puts up that big game on Friday. You think it's just... A good game in a couple of outings but he's done it now in back to back to back games and it looks like Pirtle is for real because again it's not just this three game stretch you look at Pirtle as a whole this season he is playing the best basketball of his career this is a career year for Pirtle he is number one staying healthy he's on the floor and we know that makes the Raptors a much better team when he's out there playing because they were a disaster without him last season but how he's been able to come through for this team on a nightly basis, it's been big. So it's not just this three-game stretch. There's been other points during the season where Pirtle has played incredibly well. You know, that game against Denver comes to mind. He had another big outing against the Lakers, the Hornets. So there were a couple of games. And then, yeah, he had another nice 16-9 and team rebound performance against the Nuggets. So... It's been a steady production base for Jakob Pertl, but what's been really impressive, and it's like, what the hell is going on here, is the fact that he's been putting up these stellar elite numbers in the last three games. Like, he's legitimately playing like an all-star. He might mess around <laughs> and make the all-star team. Who knows? I, I wouldn't doubt anything at this point. Pertl, man, he deserves all the praise right now because I was even saying it before he put up these crazy numbers. Jakob Pertl deserves his flowers. He deserves his praise. And it's nice to see Pirtle kind of get league-wide attention now because of his stellar numbers. So the Raptors, they're going to have to make a decision when it comes to Pirtle. Are they going to trade him, capitalize on a big haul back, or do they see value in keeping Pirtle? I went into this in more detail in my last video. Not going to get into it too much in this one, but there's a good argument to be made on both sides, right? If you get a good package for Pirtle that includes first-round pick, 
a young promising center in return maybe, it's going to be hard to pass that. But on the flip side of things, it's like this Raptors team, I, I know we talked about rebuild with them and they want to be a young team, but you still want to have a veteran presence. You want to have a veteran starter to kind of keep everybody in check, especially when you do have such a young team. And the Pirtles been having some really good chemistry with guys like RJ, Grady, you know, when Quickly comes back. I know he's not that space the floor center that you envisioned or wanted to see play alongside Scotty Barnes, but it could be something that possibly could work. So it is going to be a big decision this team's got to make. But Pirtle, it's been fun to watch, guys. And and really, big reason why the Raptors came away victorious in this one against the Pacers. And I'm just going to say this, guys. The Pacers, they stink. I am not a believer of this team. They were missing players, but the Raptors were too. Halliburton looks broken. That 2026 Pacers first-round pick, which belongs to the Raptors, might end up looking golden. So keep that in mind. Because I don't think the Pacers are on an upward trajectory. I think that was a Mickey Mouse Eastern Conference Finals run last season. This team, they are frauds. I had them making the play in this season, and it could definitely be a situation where this team is just on the downhill spiral, and that would be advantage Raptors once we hit 2026. So that's something to kind of keep in the back of your minds. Uh, Last thing I want to talk about here, of course, RJ Barrett deserves a lot of credit. I mean, he was the other big Raptor in this one. 39 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, 62% shooting from the field. You talk about Jakob Perto on a tear right now. Barrett's been impressive over his last three games as well, averaging 28.7 points, 8.3 rebounds, 9 assists on 41.2% shooting from three. He's averaging 23, 6, and 7 on the season, guys. Like, those are good numbers. I know the Raptors are down a bunch of guys, two starters, so you could say, okay, these numbers are inflated from the likes of Pirtle, Barrett, even Dick, but it's great to see these type of contributions from the Raptors. And, you know, you look at Barrett, he was in the zone, and he's really developed a nice little chemistry, a nice little two-man game, partnership duo, whatever you want to call it, with Pirtle. And, and you see it. I mean, those guys were just in sync. And the Pacers, their defense was horrible. They had nothing to uh, to slow down this Raptors offensive attack, especially with Pirtle dominating inside and, and Barrett doing his thing. Grady had 15 Abaji had 11, Mitchell 11 as well, so it was a, a nice win for the Raptors, but I'm sure a lot of Raptors fans, myself included, still want to keep that tank in mind, and uh, the Raptors might have to worry about the 76ers when it comes to the tankathon, because the 76ers keep losing, that is crazy what's going on in Philly right now, but uh, this was nice to see nonetheless, I mean, this is what you want to see, you want to see the Raptors battle hard, show you a lot of good things, it looked like it was going to be another ethical tank performance I thought the Raptors were going to blow this game I'm going to be perfectly honest with all of you but they were able to hold on there at the end uh the turnovers killed them which is why Indiana did have a chance but the Raptors able to close it out they're victorious they're gonna have a couple days off and then they're gonna take on the uh Timberwolves on Thursday but guys let me know your thoughts drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you are new this is Lucas signing off as always thanks for watching I will catch you all again in the next one